Shalom, 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 everybody. Shalom. I'm going to say it loud and proud and with some authority yes. behind it. Shalom. This is the day of rest, the Shabbat, brothers and sisters. And it just so happened to fall on a Saturday yes, that today, okay? Um, today, real quick, you know, these Bible studies, we're starting to shorten them so that we can, you know, keep the attention of everybody. And I'll try to draw it out too long. Today, we're going to cover the mark of the beast. Last week was the seal of Yahuwah. This week is the mark of the beast. We're going to get into it real quickly. So let's do our Shema, Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. And then we're going to say Yahuwah's prayer in Hebrew. And we're going to dive right in to the mark of the beast, the Bible study for today. All right. So everybody's testing hands and ready to receive. Shema, Yasharala, Ahaya, Alahiya, Nawa, Ahaya, Batah. Here, O Yahshua, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah is one. Abba Nawa, Shabbat Shemayim, Kadesh Haya Shemta, Ahaya Malakbata, Daba'a, Radazamwanta, Haya Isha, Ba Aratiza, Kawa, Haya, Ba Shemayim, Latonla Nawa, Latum, Ha, Wayam, Wasalak Nawa, Chawat Ya Nawa, Ha Salak Nawa, Chalakwa Nawa, Laba'a, Taba ana nawa, anaswayam, aba, awasnawa, manra, kaya, lakta, ha, malakta, waha ala, waha tapala, la alayim, ama. And so be. So let's get into this thing. Last week was the seal of Yahuwah. This week, we're going to talk about the mark of the beast. Last week, we covered sign, seal, mark. All which meaning the same. Which authority are you sitting under? All right? Are you willfully going to take the mark of the beast? And then who is the beast? All right? So let's get right in here. Let's just now be put something together here for you. All right? Let's dive into our Bible study here this morning here. Here we go. The mark of the beast. One moment here. The mark of the beast. Who is the beast here? I put up an image here just to see maybe you brothers and sisters may be able to catch it, but we're going to explain to you who this is, what this is, and what organization this is. All right? So in the introduction, briefly, the importance of understanding the true definition of this mark which is G5480. Let's break it off early. What is a mark? G5480. Real quick. 5480. What is the mark? All right, listen up. We, we covered this last week, but listen up. I just want to refresh your memory. Strong's G5480. Charagma. 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 All right. A stamp, an imprinted mark, all right, of the mark stamped on the forehead or right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Remember, we talked about that not being a physical mark. You see, you're following the ways of the Antichrist. B, the mark branded upon horses, things called sculpture, graven work, or of an idolatrous images all right so this is what we're talking about today the mark of the beast a stamp an imprinted mark or we can go down here and say of idolatrous images remember this of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the antichrist all right g5480 now mark so now that we know what the mark is, the importance of understanding the true definition of this mark is obvious from the book of Revelation. And this is where we're going to sit today. If we do not grasp the actual scriptural meaning, we may unknowingly accept the mark of the beast and find ourselves in opposition to Yahuwah when he pours out his wrath 
upon mankind and justice is finally administered. Now you go ahead, Nabi. I know you got something to share here. No, no, I'm I'm just wanting to thank everybody, you know, for coming in. And I want to remind you real quick to get that calendar. Yes. You need that calendar. The link will be in the description this time. Definitely need that. So stay tuned to the end so you can get that link in the description so you can get your calendar. Keep you on track with the Sabbath and the festivals, the holy days, so on and so forth. So we definitely need to get that, okay? And and doing so, you're following Christ. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you to, 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 to take a look at the video before this one, The Seal of Yahuwah. And this week and next week, we're going to be covering the mark of the beast mm -hmm. and the image of the beast. Mm -hmm. All right? Anything else you want to add there? No? Mm -hmm. That's right. Good job. Let's get right on back in here to the commentary. So now, let's end it up here. So if we do not grasp, so what we want to do now is grasp what the scriptural meaning is of the mark. All right? Because we don't want to be in opposition of Yahuwah when his wrath is administered and poured out upon this earth. You see, we want to know the difference. All right. So this is the definition of Hosea 4 and 6. We're going to get into that a little bit later. So section number two. What is meant by the term mark, seal, sign? All right. Number one. This seal is almost certainly a symbolic stamp, mark, or sign not to be taken literally. So in order to take it literally, we're talking about physically, all right? Because some people think, Navia, when I can take the mark, but I still love Christ. Mm -hmm. It's not, I can take the physical mark and I can still love Christ. Well, if you take this physical mark, then you're not a follower of Christ. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two. This mark will be symbolically placed on or inside the forehead or the right hand. Right now, we're talking about the mark of the beast. Number three. The mark symbolizes servitude or allegiance to the one from whom the mark is received. Okay? Then we're going to get into the scripture in just a minute. You know, I have a question. Go ahead. You know, like sometimes when um, when you own something or you put a stamp on you, back in the days, the kings and queens used to have coins and stuff, mm -hmm. right? They would put a stamp on those coins mm -hmm. to recognize that this stamp, this, this coin was queen or prince or whoever coin it belonged to. Exactly. So, you know, being that, and they, and they would stamp animals, you know, they would prove that this is my, my she, sheep. The branded. They would stamp mm -hmm. cows and animals and stuff because they would prove that that's their, that belongs to them. Exactly. So I'm thinking that Marks and signs and seals are stamps to to show who your you belong allegiance. to, your allegiance. Who you your belong allegiance. to? Who do you belong to? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, perfect analogy. Yeah. Allegiance. Who do you belong to? Mm -hmm. It does not have to. It's symbolic to a, a physical stamp. Who are you following every day of your life? Are you following the law, statute, and commandments of the of the Bible? Of Yahuwah, of the Torah? Mm -hmm. Or are you following the way of the world? You see? These are things that, that we must ask ourselves and be real with ourselves and make the proper corrections what need to be made do the wrath is going to come upon those that roll with the other side. Because you, when you're fighting in a war, you can't be like... There's in no the in between. Middle, in the middle, like... I'm fighting this war, but I'm 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 on this people's side, and I'm on this team too. You can't you, you either both. either or or you can't be in the middle. So the same thing with with the mark and the seal and all. Exactly, you can't be in the middle. You you have to choose a side. You got to choose a side. So recap number three: the mark symbolizes servitude 
This is just what Navi is talking about. Who are you serving? Mm -hmm. Or your allegiance. What's, what's getting all of your time to the one from whom the mark is received? Number four, the mark symbolizes relationship between those that decide to receive it mm -hmm. and the beast or his agents from whom it is received. It shows the recipients of the mark to be loyal to the beast and among his willful followers. So you receive, you accepting when you receive, you're, re you're accepting this. They're not forcing it on you. The world is not forcing its way on you. You're receiving it. So which means you're accepting it and you're following the world ways, the beast ways. Number five, the heart of Revelation chapter 17, verse five. Let's go ahead and pull it down and read it. Revelation chapter 17 and verse five. And, it's, oh, it's, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. And it says, the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. All right, Mystery Harlot written over her head the mother of harlots, and the abominations of the earth, right? We showed an image at the beginning who this was, and, and, and a lot of a lot of you guys, brothers and sisters, you're going to pick up on who this mother harlot is that's full of abominations, all right? So the harlot of Revelation 17 and 5, historically and universally accepted as representing Rome. And the evil Babylonian mystery religion that has continued to oppose the true teachings of Scripture bears on her forehead the mark of her true nature in a mysterious illusion to Babylon. Right? This image right here, brothers and sisters. And you know what that is? That's the RCC. Let's dive back in. The mother harlot. And they, the mother harlot had daughters. We're going to get into that in just a minute. Number six, the verb translated receive. Now let's get into it. Let's see exactly what that means. Receive, H6901. H6901. Receive. All right, let's listen up. Strong's H, 6901. Caval. Caval. Right. Here we go. Right here. To take, receive, be for. To take, choose, receive. So there's a key word. Choose to take the mark. To accept. To accept, assume, to show opportuneness. To correspond. Receive one to another. See? Receiving the mark means to accept the mark. It's a choice. It's a choice. Right here. Choose. Chicago. This is what this means here. Mm -hmm. you, you have a choice. Who are you going to choose today? The seal of Yahuwah or the mark of the beast? It's just that simple. To receive, translated 86901 in Revelation 13 and 16. Let's read. 13 and 6 is, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive mm -hmm. a mark in their right hand mm -hmm. or in their foreheads. Mm -hmm. Symbolically. Now listen to this. The average person, if you put enough pressure on them, Nabia, mm -hmm. causes. Read that one more time. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. See, you can cause somebody, mm -hmm. try to cause somebody to do something, but that doesn't mean you have to receive what they're doing. Guess what? It's like backing you in a corner. Exactly. Thinking that, 
cut off the food, cut off the water, cut off the electricity, cut off this and that. But you know what? No matter what, you're not going to compromise. So pauses, you see, because whatever the mark of the beast, whatever the beast causes, both read that again. Mm -hmm. And he causes fall, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So that's everybody if you accept it. Free, rich, poor, free, bond. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to know where you stand, brothers and sisters. Are you sealed? We in this end time. Mm -hmm. And there's no time to play. Are you sealed? Because if you're not, you receive the mark of the beast. Not only this Babylonian mysterious religion, but you will receive this Babylonian teaching. Babel, which means confusion. All right, let's carry on. All right, everybody following us here? Like and share, brothers and sisters. Please share this video. You know, you think Babylonian is like the ways of the Gentiles. Right. You know, the pagan belief system, you know. Exactly. Uh, believing in their festivals, their holidays, and their laws, statutes, and, and their commandments. Exactly. What they require the people to do. And I know I read a scripture where, where one of the disciples says, should I obey you? Or sure, I God. Exactly. You know, it's just simple. I mean, you know, you can get into this argument, you know, right. anytime with, with a co-worker with your children or, you know, the world wants you to compromise. Yes. Being in the compromission state, you will receive. Of course, because you're, you're so used to comfort. Mm -hmm. So compromising is not going to be hard because That's right. you're used to comfort. You're not used to, you know, struggling, going without, right. you know, walking long distance, doing things, oh, you know. So when you're in affliction, then you don't know how to persevere when you need to, when you're in affliction. You know, and I believe the Lord allow us to go through certain things to mm -hmm. train us for such a time. Don't y'all like Manabia talk? To get us prepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she speak with so much wisdom. That's right. That's why I'm going to try to tone it down sometime and let her speak more. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's get back to it. All right. No more joking around. All right. So the verb translated receive. Mm -hmm. All right. Choose. Accept. Let's look at it again. There's nothing we making up, brothers and sisters. One more time. Strong's H, 6901. Caval. 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 Good vow. To take. So in order to take something. You're receiving it. You're receiving it. you choosing to take it. You're receiving it. You're and then it. you accepting it. To show oppositeness. Ooh. To correspond. Look. To take. Receive. Choose. Accept. Show opportunities to correspond. Mm -hmm. So you receiving the mark of the beast mm -hmm. on its system, you corresponding with it instead of the seal of Yahuwah. You see, in opposition right here to Yahuwah. Having said that, get ready for the wrath. All right, let's move forward. Now that I think we got that down mm -hmm. receive. Now we know what that means. The verb translated receive in Revelation 13, 16. Let's read it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Revelation oh, 16. It says, and he causes all, both small and great, rich or poor, free or bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Causes. Causes. That's right. Yeah. And receive mm -hmm. here is in the subjunctive mode. Right. Uh, that word is subjunctive. All right. Now, what does that mean, Elder Safa? Relating to or denoting a mood of verbs expressing what is imagined or wished or possible. See, because everybody ain't going to receive that. 
-hmm. They wishing, they hoping, and the beast is imagining, but everybody ain't gonna do that. This is in the subjective, subjunctive mode or mood. Now listen up. One cannot receive something unless they accept it, which implies what, Nabia? Willingness. Mm. Solitude, mm -hmm. uh, allegiance. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you got to take it. You mm -hmm. can receive it. Mm -hmm. You're doing this by choice. By choice. Come on. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the mark is not forced. It's not. Because if you go by the scriptures mm -hmm. and you do the study, uh -uh, it ain't pushed on you. Mm -hmm. It ain't forced. You're going to receive it because. They're going to cause. cause. See, the beast is going to put the pressure on the cause. Mm -hmm. Those who are not sealed to receive mm -hmm. its mark. Right. Man, come on. All right, now. Somebody follow what I'm yeah. saying today. Ultimately, we're going to move right forward. We're going to try to make this as short as possible, but to the point. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, those that receive the mark do so on their own what, Nabia? On their own willingness. See that? Mm -hmm. Willingly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in this world that has never been without. Mm -hmm. Just like Sister Nabi is saying, that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, you get it. online and you check your account and you Look can sit it. back and cross Look your leg. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> well, what are you going to do when there ain't nothing in there? Never been homeless, never been without. Never had to make Roman noodles for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Never had to use that medical flex card. <laughs> $3 a day to feed a whole family. Something what? Deep. Never had to go without. See? And so times are going to okay. be perilous. Mm -hmm. Stressful. Stressful. You know, you know, didn't have a job. You know, they never had to go without. They never lacked no good thing. Everybody they else been taking care of everything. All right been given to them and been mm -hmm. readily available for them. That's right. I mean, silver spoon in the mouth. Mm -hmm. So quite naturally, they've been in comfort. Mm -hmm. They don't know nothing about, I like you that know, word. all the, the the perilous things that can come upon them. So, you know, quite naturally, they used to have a comfort. So mm -hmm. something that's very, peril, uh, you know, very, very stressful or hard, perilous, they're not going to, they're not going to want to suffer through that. See, that's that key word. Causes. Causes. Can't go without food. What? They ain't got nowhere to stay. Oh, you don't know how to live in the woods. You don't know how to, you don't know how to go tell build your you little, what, little tent. I'll tell you, who will put all these trees out here? I'm going to lay down somewhere. <laughs> you don't know how to survive. <laughs> go ahead, take the house. I don't I'm care. I'm telling you. He yeah. got leaves and hay and Water and mud that I can make from a creek and put me something together. Come on, now you get in on here. High has created the mm -hmm. earth and the fullness there thereof, are. and it's a for sustainable living. Exactly. We can, you can make it. You can make it. All you exactly. need is the Most High. But see, if the they're not high. ready, see the beast causes both, both sides. Yeah, smart. rich poor. Yeah, because poor sometimes the poor get poor. You know, because the <laughs> lack of knowledge keeps them in bondage to being poor, lacking. Mm -hmm. And if they they lack it, they don't know no better. They have no knowledge. They have no understanding. They don't know how to do certain things. Mm -hmm. So they can't make it. That's right. And you got rich people that are so spoiled. They used to having everything. They That's just right. ain't going to go down. No. It just ain't going to happen for them. So give me that. Yeah, I, 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 re I receive that. Yeah, because I can't. Yeah. They'd be like, I can't do this. It's right here. I am not used to knowing not knowing. What? Yeah. Uh, give me that. You see? Oh, I'm not going to eat them Roman noodles. Or I'm not going to eat that. Oh, no. Mm. They're not used to it. They're exactly. not accustomed to it. Receive more. Give it give, 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 the so adjectives. Hard. Accept. Accept. Choose. Willingness. Willingly. Yes, all of those. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we had to accept Christ. You exactly. Should. That's an exception. And it was a choice. And it was a choice. It's not like, you know, he came for everybody. But you have to accept him. Mm -hmm. You have to. That's the only way. 
to the Father is through acceptance of his begotten son, the Christ, the anointed king, mm -hmm. Yahushua. And then one of these Bible studies, we're going to get into Romans chapter 11 uh, about the Jew and the Gentile and how the Gentiles grafted in. Mm -hmm. You know, he came for the house of Israel. Yeah. All right, don't yeah. get it twisted. This ain't nothing that we making up, brothers and sisters. But we try not to get into that. Right. You know, I know there's people out there that get into that. They stay on that. They hit the gas. Like, that's all of the gospel, and that's not true. Yeah, because the Jews were supposed to teach the Gentiles the way of righteousness. Exactly. That was the whole point, so that they can be engrafted in. Mm -hmm. So they can be engrafted in. But those Gentiles that's grafted in, I know we've ventured off a little bit, have to know the that's truth. True. And the, I, the whole truth. That's right. The truth. That's right. Because, see, they'll take in some truths and they'll believe that. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, I'll, I'll take this part of the Bible. I believe this. I believe this it. Is, I'm not going to discuss this part. I don't want to know about that. I'm not never going to accept that part. I'm just going to accept this part. Right. And you need to know the truth. For the that's truth right. will make you free. 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 Exactly. Because you don't want to get yeah. shocked if, if it comes down to going to heaven. And then you, you look up, you be like, you get shot. <laughs> and this image of the beast, this image that you, you thought was Christ, truth. it ain't nothing like that. The whole truth will make you free. Mm -hmm. Just study and don't deny the truth. Don't deny the truth. Then once you, it's in your face. Just, mm -hmm. you know, it's We're going to break that down. So What go. Paul was talking about in Romans 11. But right now, we're going to get back to the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned to that Bible study, brothers and sisters. When you see the Romans 11, definitely share that one. Yes. All right. Let's get back to it. Now, you got anything else? Nope. That's it. Any more wisdom? Oh my All right. Then we're going to wait and see what now you got to say next go round. So now, one cannot receive something unless they accept it. Okay. Pick up that pen. I don't want it. No. 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 You see? You cannot it. receive it unless you accept it. I didn't accept it, which implies I wasn't willfully accepting this. Therefore, the mark is not forced. Ultimately, those that receive the mark do so on their own free will. Mm -hmm. Section number three. And we're wrapping it up here. We're going to get into a few more precepts, brothers and sisters. And I want you to meditate on this. Who is the beast? Who is this? Who is this right here? Who is this? Who is that with the dragon behind it? And then that this right here. What does all this represent? Who is the beast? Let's get into it. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. The beast is not some computer somewhere. That is the only smoke stream to get people off track. The Bible points out. Yahuwah's word makes it very clear who the beast is. So now let's take a look. And the only reason why I type this right here so that we can have some kind of order here. Mm -hmm. And then you can follow along to me as, I, as I'm reading it, brothers and sisters. All right. Number one, who is the beast? Received his seat and authority from Rome, Revelation 13 and 14. Let's go there. 13, 13 and 4. I'm sorry. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? All right. Revelation 13 and 4 says that his seat and authority came from the dragon. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep moving. Number two, rules the world for 1260 years from 538 AD to 1798. Now, what happened in 1798? We're going to get into that in a minute. So this is after Christ's death. Number three, then received a deadly wound, which later heals. Revelation 13 and three. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. All and right. all the world wondered after the beast. Wow. So from 538 AD to 1798, hey, they ruled the world. 
I'm going to go ahead and tell you, the RCC, the Roman Catholic Church, received its seat and authority from the dragon. Dragon, which is, we're going to get into that in a minute, we know that's Satan. Ruled the world for 1,260 years, received the wound in 1798. Stay tuned next week, and we're going to show you who took the place and helped heal that wound. Number four is both a political and a religious power, which is worship. Revelation 13, 4, let's read it again. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? You see? From 538 to 1798, they received the wound. The RCC ruled the world, and they still are. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. But it's both a what? The Roman Catholic Church is both a political and a religious power. Mm -hmm. All right, number five. They tempered with Yahuwah's law, Daniel 7 and 25. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. They did. Daniel 7, 25. Read. It says, and, and he shall speak great words against Elohim and shall wear out the Kodeshims of Elohim mm -hmm. and think to change times and laws and they shall be given unto his hand unto a period of time and times and the dividing of times. Now, what do you think the Julian? The Gregorian calendar come from. It did not come from creation. I have nothing to do with this one. Matter of fact, once again, we're going to put the link to the seal of Yahuwah, observing him on his holy days, his convocation, his weekly, and his new moons. It's how you get sealed, brother. So the, the description to get this calendar will be uh, the calendar. The link will be in the description. You know now, every time that we post a video, we will have the link to our website that you'll be able to get this. So he tampered with Yahuwah's laws. Mm -hmm. Let me read that again. Yeah, read it again. And he shall speak great words against Elohim and shall wear out the Kodashim, which is the saints mm -hmm. of Elion. That's right. And think to change times and laws and they shall be given unto his hand unto a period of time and times and the dividing of time. All right. Tampered with Yahuwah's laws. Change the whole thing. Next week, we're going to get into the ITL. The with the image the, of the beast. Mm -hmm, the calendar. The you see, laws. we're talking about the mother harlot right now. The starter of the star. See, the mother. The mother had daughters. Mm. Not daughters. All over the world. The mother harlot. The RCC. Number six. Has a leader, let me say that again, has a leader who claims to be Yahuwah mm. on earth and to be able to forgive sins, mm. which is blasphemy. What does blasphemy mean? G987, why is she pulling up that precept? G987, what is blasphemy? What is blasphemy? Listen up. Strong's G987. Blasphemeo. 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 To speak reproachfully, mm. rail at, revile, uh, to illuminate, blaspheme. To be evil spoken of, revile, rail at. So this leader of this political and religious bestial system also speaks reproachfully, revile, and blasphemes, and speaks evil, evil spoken of. That's what blasphemy means. Let's read Revelation 13 and 1. Read. And I stood up in the sand of the sea, upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Upon his head, the name of blasphemy. Now this is the same, this is the beast 
and the system, which is both political and religious, the RCC. Mm. Number seven is a mother church. Mm. Daughters have came out of her, but now are retreating back to her. So you remember the 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 back in the Martin Luther days and when the, the not the proclamation, but the um uh reformation. the reformation when they was separating themselves from this, mm -hmm. but now it's coming all back. Revelation 17, 15. Let's read. 17 and 5. 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Babylon, mystery, Babylon the Great, uh -huh. the mother of harlots, an abomination of the earth. All right. Daughters mm -hmm. have came from her, but guess what? He is the mother, mm -hmm. the great harlot, the mystery, the mother of harlots mm -hmm. and abominations of the earth. Mm -hmm. Revelation 17, 5. Not making this up. Made war with the saints. Revelation 13 and 17. 13 and 7. Mm -hmm. The RCC slaughtered millions. Mm. Millions. More than World War I and II together. Revelation 13 and 7 read. And it was given unto him to make war with the Kardashians. Kardashians. Mm -hmm. Kardashians. Mm -hmm. And to overcome them and power was given him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. Right. These are people. Number nine is a world power which is wondered at. Mm -hmm. Whenever you go to Rome, millions of people flock to this place and they're like, wow, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Revelation 13, 4, 3 and 4, read. Okay. And I saw one of his heads at it was as it was wounded to death mm -hmm. and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast. Mm -hmm. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast. And they worshiped the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? Because they were to make war with him. Ooh, wow, look what? at this. They gather mm -hmm. from all over the place in awe of the beast and its system, both political and religious. And right in your face, brothers. So this is what I don't understand. You got pictures of the POPEs, mm. apostrophe S, standing there at the foot of Baphomet worshiping this thing. Mm -hmm. You have things in the Vatican that's there that you know are ungodly. Isn't, that's weird. Yeah, it is. How can this be of Yahuwah when it doesn't represent Yahuwah. You see? Back to the commentary. Just giving you brothers and sisters something to think about. A lot of you guys know this already, but for those who don't, here we go, and this is where we are. Number 10. Has a man at the head of it with the number 666. Six, six. Revelation 13, 18. Read. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding calculate the number of the beast, mm -hmm. for it is the number of man, and his number is 666. 666. Six, six. That's his number. All right. And this is what it is. Brothers and sisters, pay attention to this. The vicar of the Son of God. That's what they call the leader, which is the Pope. The vicar of the son of God. The phrase often associated with this claim, vic vicarious fieldad, which translates to vicar of the son of God. Now this is Latin, right? And here's the breakdown. Vicarious 112, if you use the Roman numerals system. Phila 53. DI 501. You add all this up and you get the number, the breakdown in Latin 666. The beast, the leader of the beast. It had it on his forehead in Revelation 
This is what John saw. All right? Number 14. For those who don't know what that is, there it is. Rewind it, write it down, add it up yourself. Okay? 14. As a dreaded mark, which if received, aka if you choose it, if you accept it, mm -hmm. will cause a person to be cast into the lake of fire and lose eternal life. Let's read that with authority. Revelation 14, 9 and 10. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, mm. if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark on his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Elohim, mm. which is poured out with mixture, without mixture, into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented, mm. tormented. With fire and brimstone mm -hmm. in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Wow. So, accept the beast in his system, mm -hmm. choose the beast in his system. Mm -hmm. You see? And this is what you got coming. Come from among them, be ye separate. Kedoshim. Kedoshim. Those are the set apart ones. Come on. The set apart ones means the Kodoshians. Now, now you read that right there. In plain sight. In plain sight. It's right here in plain sight, brother and sister. Mm -hmm. You let the scriptures interpret the RCC, and there it is. The Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican political system. There's the sun down in the front of the dome. This is a government and a religious system. The beast. That everything falls under. That's of the world. Believe it. The political system. The whore of Babylon will sit upon seven hills. Mm -hmm. Revelation 17 and 9. 17 and 9, it says. Read. And here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the, the woman sits. Woman. Mm -hmm. Woman meaning church. You see, that's what woman means. Church. He means nations of people. All right? The whole will of Babylon, remember? Came out of the sea. Seven heads and horns, 666. Spoke blasphemy, blasphemous. Right? Let's check it out. Hmm. I know it's a little bleary. But here is the Vatico. And here are the seven hills. Right here. Break down. Aventine Hill. Asselinian Hill. Capitoline Hill. Asqualine Hill. Palatine Hill. Fourteen Hill. And Vimino Hill. They're all right here. All seven of them. Let's read it again. The whole of Babylon will sit upon seven hills. Revelation 17, 9. And here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. Hmm. They're right here, brothers and sisters. And here are the names of them. You can't make this stuff up. This is scriptural. With a little bit of digging. So now. We're going to conclude this Bible study. Just want to give you something to think about because next week is going to be even better. And we may post it even before then, the image of the beast. What else did John see? In conclusion, mm -hmm. the issues are plain. Yahuwah says that he is the true Elohim, the creator. 
he has given his Shabbat, which is today, as a sign, a seal of his authority as the creator of all. And if you're resting in his word today, getting into his word and giving him your whole day, you're working on your seal. Mm -hmm. By keeping it, we recognize his authority because we're keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. It says it was perpetual for our ancestors, even up to us now, and even our children and their children and their children. But the Catholic Church says, in effect, it's the mark of our authority to overrule mm -hmm. Yahuwah's law. The precept in, in Hosea makes it very simple to understand. Yeah, very quickly. Hosea 4 and 6, let's read it. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected the knowledge I will also reject you that you shall be no priest to me, seeing you have forgotten the Torah of your Elohim. I will also forget your children. So last week we learned Torah, the law. And some people wonder why, okay, damn, why, why my child, and da-da-da-da, and da-da-da-da. Because you're not keeping the law, statutes, commandments. This is the curse that you're putting on your loved ones mm -hmm. and them and them and them, generations, third and fourth generation. So it's a couple key words out of that, brothers and sisters. Then we're going to wrap this up because I, I pray that we kept your attention all the way up to now. Destroy, H1820. Destroy, H1820. What does that mean? Destroy. What does it mean in that, in that, in that, in that, in that uh, context? Strong's H1820. Dama. 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 Deceased, cause deceased, put off, destroy, perish. No more. To cause, to cease, destroy, to be cut off, destroy. And what's the next key word? Rejected. H3988. Rejected H3988. What does that mean here? Rejected. Strong's H3988. My ass. My ass. Now, you know that sound real funny. <laughs> I mean, just saying. My ass. It's going to be your behind. <laughs> Sound like. All right. If you don't get this, yeah. it's gonna be your my ass. My ass. All right. <laughs> to reject, despise, refuse. Mm -hmm. To despise, to be rejected is what it is. You gonna be despised if you don't get this knowledge. That's right. And you you understand? understand? It's gonna be your Strong's H thirty nine eighty eight. My ass. My ass. <laughs> my ass. That's what it's going to be. That's Just bringing it to your plane. I didn't yeah. say it. The man right here said it. it. And it's the word it's in, right. in Hebrew. That's what it is. It. My ass. H, which means Hebrew. That ain't Greek. Mm -hmm. Hebrew 3988. My ass. All right. And last but not least, forgotten. Forgotten. <laughs> Hebrew. 7911. You will be forgotten. Oh. 7911. H7911. I see what this means. Strong's H7911. Shachach. Shachach. And second entry. Shachach. Shachach. So, I mean, that just seems like, oh, what? Well, forgotten. Back. You, you have been shakeah and shakai. To forget, ignore, wither. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that don't to forget, good. to cease to care, to be forgotten, to cause to forget, to make cause or uh, uh, to make or cause to forget, to be forgotten. forgotten. Ignored and withered. Oh, wow. Brothers and sisters. 
receive that mark if you want to. Come out of that Babylonian system. Come out of it. Weather, it, it sounds real horrible to me because yeah. I just think about, we have some, you know, we have some plants inside the house. And sometimes, you know, leaves, they get dry, whatever. I don't like dry leaves in my house. Mm -hmm. I'll cut them off when they get, when they wither like that and dry up crinkly like that. I go ahead and cut them off and go take them outside and throw them over the banister. Mm -hmm. So there, if the most had, that's what happened when you mm -hmm. wither. You forgot. Well, you, you see what happened to the fig tree mm -hmm. when it was supposed to put out something it will. and it didn't. So it got destroyed. Right. Forgotten. Uh huh. And, uh, the story forgotten and what's rejected. Rejected. It's rejected because he said you ain't going to bear no more fruit because you didn't have what it was supposed to be on that tree. When he reached for that fig, it wasn't there producing. So since it was not there to produce, okay, curses you. You you, you don't even have to worry about it. You're with it, you die, you won't be able to produce that because you're forgotten. It's all and tell him right here. Understand who your enemy is. Mm -hmm. Get it? Mm -hmm. Got it? Good. That's right. The link to this part of being sealed will be in the description, brothers and sisters. So now, who is the beast? Mercy C. She just said it. Nabi just gave it to you. There's the heels. There's all the precepts. Take time to go back through it. Read it. And there it is. Stay tuned for more. There's some more stuff getting ready to hit mm -hmm. fans in the near future. So be prepared. The Ruach Kakadash, the Holy Spirit is going to reveal some things to many of us. Mm -hmm. So just start, you know, if, if you haven't um, engaged in fasting, this will probably be the time, you know, just get ready, get yourselves up ready, your That's spirit right. man ready to receive truth. Mm -hmm. Because what does the, the, the Bible say? The Torah says mm -hmm. the truth will make you free. free. Brothers and sisters. You want to be free. The mark of the beast, the scriptures, the precepts. Let's go to Isaiah 28, 9 and 10 real quick. And then we're going to say our prayers, the benediction, and we're going to get out. Mm -hmm. Our job is done in the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 28, verses 9 and 10. Okay, Isaiah 28. Okay, I'm going to take it right there. Don't mean to hold you too much more longer, brothers and sisters, but you got to get it. You got to get this thing. I got it if you don't. Okay. Here I agree. Whom shall, he says, whom shall he teach knowledge? Mm -hmm. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Mm -hmm. Them that are weaned from the milk uh -huh. and drawn from the breast. Uh huh. Ten. Mm -hmm. And it says, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. There it is. That's right. So right in the beginning, who shall who shall he teach knowledge? Mm -hmm. So if you're not flipping through your precepts, you know what? line upon line, here a little, there a little, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it because you ain't studying. Hosea 4 and 6 says, you, you, you perish for a lack of knowledge and understanding. Uh -huh. So let's not be one of those brothers and sisters that perish, remember, with the beast, not the receiving its mark. Mm -hmm. You see, destroyed, forgotten. And what's the last one, Nabia? Rejected. Rejected. <laughs> Rejected. You don't want to be rejected. Don't want to do it. You don't want to be rejected, destroyed. You don't want that. Mm -mm. And or forgotten. forgotten. No. That's right. So that concludes our Bible study, brothers and sisters. The link to the calendar will be in the description. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, comments, you know, feel free to put it in the comment. You know, we always respond. You know, within 24 to 48 hours, you will get a response. This is not a ministry where you can't get a hold of nobody, okay? And for those that, you know, you we have some people that like to talk to us. We have a toll-free number for that, mm -hmm. that you can actually get a hold of me or Nadia. But, you know, we don't entertain the trolls mm -hmm. or the people playing games. 
You see, it's better to have a millstone tied around your neck than to mess with one of your whores. And even the least one. The least of them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So we don't entertain that. You know, you know, serious people comment. And then if you really need to get a hold of us, you know, through prayer, you can go on the site, put in a thing. And if something is really pressing, then I'll feel led to give you the number to get a hold of us. Okay? You know, we're living in the days and times where the Lord is teaching the Kadeshians. Mm -hmm. The set apart ones that, and it, and you may think it's kind of harsh, but he's teaching us, whosoever loveth thy mother and mm. father, sister, and brother more mm. than me is not worthy of me. Mm. So it's going to come a time that we're all going to be separated. It may be a time that we won't be able to, you know, be close to those that we once were close to. Mm -hmm. Because they may accept the mark and be on a different team. What we're I like what you said that you use the alternate word place. except see so that is very vitally important that we stay focused you know and we stay loving the the first commandments the love the Lord thy God with all their heart mind soul and body mm. everybody else is like menu I'm serious that's right I mean he wants us to love but everybody and all of that but you love the most high your creator comes first, far first, before mother, father, sister, brother, kids. It's it's him. Okay. Now it's I'm gonna go sake. to the precept upon precept, line upon line, and then we're gonna do the benediction and get out of here. Brothers and sisters, turn Luke 14. You can find that in Luke 14, uh, verse 26 through and 27. And it reads. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whatever does not bear his cross and whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So see, your mother, your brother, your sister, your children, your wife, your father, or even yourself. God given he take away. You have to put them at the feet of Yahuwah and Yahusha. You gotta put them at the feet of Christ so that you can, you know, don't let them be your hindrance or your distraction. You can't love them more than you love the most high. Mm -hmm. He gave them to you. He allowed them to be in your life. And he give it that he take it away. That's right. So you just keep stay focused and you choose life and not death. Choose not to be choose. rejected. Forgot or destroyed. Mm. Make the right decisions. Accept Christ, Yahushua, right. as your Lord, your King, your Savior, your Messiah, mm. the one that is worthy to open the seal, the one that died and bled, rose again, mm. so that you can be reconciled to your Creator. Exactly. He's access. Exactly. No one can get to the Father but by Him. He's the way, the truth, and the life. That's right. Having so said I that, just pray right now. Let's be in old. the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, that many will come to the knowledge of the truth. They will not be forgotten, rejected, or destroyed, because they will hear the truth, and the truth will make them free. Father, we ask that you would send your ministering spirits to minister truth to your people, that they will receive truth, acknowledge truth. Receive it, accept it, and choose life. Choose life. And Father, we pray right now that you will send forth your mighty, your yes. mighty angels to speak to your people. Your Ruach HaKadash yes. to give them wisdom beyond their years. That is so very important in these perilous times of which we're currently in. To have wisdom beyond our years to make the right choices. Because it's a by choice. It's a free will, a willingness. Yes. Father, right now, we thank you. We glorify you. We release your people unto you. We call them blessed going out, blessed coming in. In the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I pray this one too long. I pray you started it and went all the way to the end. But until now, we say Shalom and the water for tuning in. See you next week on the image of the beast and the second beast that rose out of the earth. Don't forget your calendars.
description, the, 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 the link will be in the description. Shalom, brothers Shalom. and sisters.